Hello, Scott from IGN, and I'm joined by Chris and Khan from Ray, and we're going to have a look at Ray Replay, but it's the snapshot stuff. So, what is snapshot, guys? Uh, so, snapshots, they're kind of little bite sized challenges. Okay. Um, so, some of our older games, they're obviously quite difficult to play, and we thought we'd make them more digestible for players to, yeah. to break them down into small, digestible chunks. Um, it kind of means we haven't had to dilute the challenge, and if the player fails on a particular challenge, They've got that just one more go yeah. vibe about them, so they can jump straight back in and try it again, which is quite yeah. cool. Um, so we try to get a mixture of snapshots. Some of them are kind of instructional, so they'll teach the players the basic mechanics of the games. Yeah. Um, some of them are kind of will place the player in a scenario, um, kind of an iconic scenario. So Turbo Tunnel and Battle Toads, for example, or face yeah. off against a giant squid monster in Cobra Triangle. Yeah. And then some of them we've actually played around with some of the mechanics, given a bit of a twist. Um, and we can show you examples of all of these yeah. right now. So I'll jump into Night Law okay. first. And when people play Night Law, there's kind of, I don't know if you know what Night Law is, but you go around this kind of nice symmetric maze collecting objects. Each room is a bit of a puzzle and you've got to throw these objects into a cauldron and eventually you break the curse that's bestowed upon Saber Man. Yeah. Um, but there's kind of an advanced technique that... Obviously Night Law was made in the days before tutorials. Um, <laughs> so we thought the snapshot would be quite a nice way to teach players this yeah. kind of advanced technique. Okay. Um, so I'll just kind of show it off now. So the idea of this is to grab the chalice that is uh, positioned on the top of some of these pillars. Right. And what we'll see is you can't really make this jump. You'll fail <laughs> and you'll die. Okay. Um, but there is a trick that uh, Night Lord players use where, if you'll see, we have an inventory slot on the bottom corner. Yeah. And in there, we've given the player a boot. And you can actually stand on top of these objects and right. jump off them to get a bit more height. But what most players don't know is you can actually pick up the object as you jump and keep it in your inventory so you don't leave it behind. So I'll wait for him to turn into a wolf. Okay. Uh, you can get a bit more height. Oh. <laughs> let's, let's try that again. Just like that. Just like that. That's what happens when you do it wrong. This is, there's still a bit of challenge even when you know the secret. Okay. Uh, you can... Ah. Oh. <laughs> There's, there's, la there's latency going on. There's, yeah. I'm gonna have a word with the engineers about this. <laughs> oh, no. We need to sort out the controls later. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Good work, man. You, know. you can do this. I'll do it this time. Okay. There we go. Yes. Oh, oh well. Wow. <laughs> there we go. It shows how hard it is, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's also I am gonna do this. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is that one more go mentality yeah. in action. No, there we go. Just one one, yeah. So I need to pick it up this time because I can now grab the nice. chalice and nice. chuck it into the cauldron to end the snapshot. Good work. So nice. that's one. Um, another yeah. game, I'll just uh, pass the controller to Carl now. Mm -hmm. um, so, Lunar Jetman. Lunar Jetman, yeah. So, the idea here is we've actually. It's one of the examples of the snapshot we've poked around in the original game and made yeah. some changes. So, we've taken the enemies out for a snapshot. So, you can focus on one core mechanic and yeah. be distracted by the whole thing. So, you see it in isolation. Yes, I don't know if you guys have played Lunar Jetman recently, but it's, <laughs> it's not as relaxed as this normally. Normally, within a couple of seconds, you'll get a meteorite flying in from off screen yeah. and uh, knocking you to oblivion, which makes it hard to learn certain mechanics. So, yeah, the idea of this is we'll make it a bit more sedate for the player, let them learn these kind of mechanics in their own time. It's nice. Just. Fixing roads. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot more therapeutic than the real game. <laughs> it's quite relaxing. Yeah. I should have done this one really instead of doing the hard <laughs> one. Work. I, I could fail repeatedly. <laughs> um, something quite cute about it. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good um, work. Um, but as well as that, we obviously, you mentioned earlier, certain games have certain iconic moments. Yeah. So. 
about Totaz, obviously, the level everyone knows. Yeah. But if anyone ever got past there, there was a nice little level later on where you had to kind of chase chase a rat down down kind of a, a load of scaffolding to yeah. reach a bomb. And it's it's nice, kind of like um, Chapter Select and a DVD will let yeah. viewers just watch their favourite scenes in a film. Mm -hmm. we, we, we like snapshots as a potential way that we can serve up these these highlights of our games and yeah. let players just jump straight into them. Um, and it means that, you know, some players who've never played Battletoads before, they might have heard of these uh, iconic levels yeah. and they can actually jump straight into them, see what all the fuss is about, yeah. which is pretty cool. Yeah. And in this particular case, if you're going to fail miserably, it gives you a nice, quick restart loop without the fear of having to start the whole game again. Oh, oh. like that. It's like, oh, never mind, straight back in. <laughs> so I can fail miserably again. <laughs> I like the little trumpet at the end as well. Yeah, uh, the sad trombo. Yeah. Yeah. He's gone. He's, he's, gone. he's out of it. Yeah, he's gone. If I nailed that bit of the bomb, I could probably catch him up now, but I'm not going to nail oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> So, Basically, if you make one wrong decision in this, yeah. like, you're screwed. Yeah, so um, the snapshots are kind of structured in a way, so each game will have a couple of easy ones, they're almost yeah. teaching the players the mechanics, yeah. um, a couple of medium ones that, that they'll give a bit of a challenge, and then one, nice. yes. one that offers a staunch challenge for yeah. even people that played the games back in the day, yeah. fans of those games, just so there's something for everyone. That's awesome. Um, and as, so as well as these scenarios, we also offer kind of twists on the original. So okay. um, we can show you a couple of these now. Um, the first one. So Jetpack. Uh, Jetpack had 16 levels back in the day, but people might not necessarily realise that because every level was laid out in the same kind of way. I'll yeah. just quickly show. Every level had these platforms laid yeah. out on the screen. The platforms were um, in the exact same place as well, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, on every single level, so yeah. uh, we thought it would be cool to actually play around with that. Yeah. What would happen if, you know, we, say, did a snapshot without any platforms? It kind of gives you free reign to move around and the enemies yeah. free reign to move around and all of a sudden it becomes a lot more unpredictable. Yeah. And um, so yeah, we got this little you get no, snapshot. You get no like respite either, so you don't yeah. you can't like jump on a platform to start flying because you've got to keep flying forever. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, so the idea of this snapshot is we're making use of the wraparounds of the play field as well. So we yeah. just task the player with doing five wraps of the play area, but obviously as I'm showing, it's not that straightforward. Uh, cool. It's particularly high risk when you're near the edge of the screen because those yeah. UFOs have a have a nasty habit of kind of blocking nice. your escape route. But. Sweet. <laughs> and then uh, another one, just the final snapshot we'll, yeah. we'll show you guys is, um, it's probably my favorite one in the game actually. Um, so Solar Jetman had these little kind of bonus games in the, in the middle yeah. um, after every couple of levels where it'd give you 10 seconds to collect diamonds, but yeah. you never have enough time to collect all the diamonds, to be yeah. honest. And so we just thought, why, why can't we get rid of that uh, time limit and just treat it as a bit of a time trial? Yeah. So it's this snapshot will just require you to collect 10 gems as fast as possible. Okay. And I don't know if you've noticed, all these snapshots will have like a time limit or a high score and so we have 80 snapshots in our game in total and each wow, one okay. will offer um, an Xbox Live leaderboard so yeah. ho we're hoping the competition will be high even if That's you complete awesome, yeah. them. Uh, I'll pass mm -hmm. the pad to oh, Carl now to try go, and yeah. beat my excellent time there. Yeah. So um, see Chris had a lot more practice on this. <laughs> I'm the one that you know poked around in the old game and made sure it could run forever but I have not played it as much so Chris had a distinct advantage. It's also the super boost in this one, isn't there? Which I completely forget every time. Uh, Come on, dude. But yeah, I mean, we just find these insanely replayable just because yeah. they're so short. Um, let you dive into 
the entire breadth of our yeah our, our historic back catalogue really yeah. and just sample little delights yeah um, and makes adds a lot of competition as well yeah, just no, it's simple good. leaderboards and mm -hmm. I think it especially pays off with the Spectrum games which are quite intimidating I think for modern yeah. gamers and now there's a way and you can just see the best bits of that even if you yeah. don't want to put in a complete game experience you can see what it's about and you know talk about it yeah uh, do you want to have a go on this particular uh, snapshot while we're at it so i got to be four well i'm going to try and be four so what are the buttons actually before i do that so the right trigger that yeah. um does a jet boost if you yeah. hold down the x button as well it kind yeah. of makes it a more powerful jet boost right and either d-pad or left stick will rotate your ship yeah. and, uh, there's a fair bit of inertia to take into account oh. I think slow and steady should win the <laughs> race. Know, just got <laughs> <laughs> Get that. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> so in the original it would have timed out oh, by now. Oh, It'd be yeah. like, oh. you got four diamonds and you'd have been, ah. Oh. Could have done with a bit more more time, and that was quite enjoying it. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard. Yeah. Here we go. That's a good. It's that's a good little. Uh, that's what's really about this game. Though you get to a point where you just kind of you feel it, and it just you can really improve. Yeah, and it, it just lets you jump straight back into it. Where's the so. other one? <laughs> I think it's on I the right. I reckon it's on the right. right, middle middle right, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Maybe top right. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get around. <laughs> oh! <laughs> How is this happening? <laughs> there we go. Hey. Got it. One minute. Nice. One minute. <laughs> well, thank you very much for showing me those guys. They were really cool. No worries. Welcome.